Hey, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, perfect timing. <laughs> <laughs> Blow my nose before you introduce me. Okay, you're okay. I'll give you a second. Okay, okay, don't take okay, it okay. camera. Don't take no, the camera. I'm not on camera. Don't take it camera. Clean up. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the presence of comedic greatness. As he's one of the founding members of one of the craziest shows of all time, Kids in the Hall. From a Buddy Cole to the demented old man in the Love and Sausages sketch, actor and comedian Scott Thompson is here before his gigs at the Punchline. Hey. Nice to have you. How you doing? How you doing? Okay, I'm a little under the weather. <laughs> And, and of all the things I know, you have the worst travel karma of anybody. I, I was am. poking around online yesterday, and I saw uh, an interview you did with some anchor somewhere right. talking about how horrible it was to get to wherever you were at the oh. time. And then I saw this on Twitter. What's that? Hideous travel day in Phoenix, waiting oh, for my yeah. flight to Sacramento. Tell the opener to go long. I sense a splashy entrance later tonight. What does splashy mean? What is, <laughs> well, you know, I think it's the last moment. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> You know what I mean? With like a boa. Like, oh yeah, I thought you would yeah. come that way. Always. I wanted to be lowered by helicopter. Oh, well, that's yeah. a real. You can arrange splash. that. Yeah, you always want to make took, a scene. I took you like 18 hours to get here from LA. Well, I mean, I started yesterday. At, I, I got up at seven, and I didn't get here till seven. Why? So it took me 12 wow. hours. You can drive this, here in half that well, they time. Had like a, they had a, um, uh, a power outage at LAX yesterday, so oh. they couldn't print. I don't know what happened. Oh, okay. And then they couldn't print my um, uh, boarding, boarding pass. pass. We had the same thing here a couple weeks back. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> and it was all down. Everything was down. And then they had to send me. So they, I missed my flight. And then they, the next flight was full. And then they sent me to Phoenix. And I am not a, I'm not a huge fan of Phoenix. It's like bedrock <laughs> without the Flintstones. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, oh, no Dino? It's just like, oh, everything, 101 degrees. <laughs> Exactly. No funny dinosaurs. No, that's, you, no. that's where you were, right? I lived there. You're right. I'm <laughs> sorry. No, I lived there for four years. That's why I live here now. Just, I've been here for 22. It so it scares me, that heat and the sun. It just freaks it's me out. got a out. big mountain range. It looks like a camel. And the I'm way, waiting the for it to stand range, up. And, it's, like, it's coming down on you. Yeah. I'm waiting for that camel back to get up and go walk away. It's, it doesn't look real. No. What is that? It just looks, I don't know. It comes out of nowhere. Like <laughs> geographically, it doesn't make any sense. You don't have anything like that in Canada. That just no. like, stuff that just shows up. All of up our geography that. makes sense. It all makes sense. <laughs> it, makes it all perfect. makes sense. It's green. It's friendly. Yeah, exactly. It never says a bad thing about anyone. <laughs> See, in just this conversation, it seems like you've made an easy transition. I always wonder how sketch comedy actors oh. transition to stand up because it yeah. doesn't always transition. You no. can be great at sketch comedy and not be good as a stand up. It's totally different. Yeah. It took me. It's taken me a long time. Really? Yeah. I mean, when I was younger. I think if I was a kid today, I would have gone into stand-up, but it wasn't really possible for a guy like me to be open back then. And I tried to be a stand-up in like the mid-80s, late-80s when I first started, and then yeah. I met the kids in the hall and I didn't look back. But I decided about, and I'd always dabbled with it, Yeah. but I, I mean, I've toured before in character as Buddy Cole, yeah, yeah. but not me. And right. I've always thought stand-up is like the, that's like the Everest, and yeah. I wanted to do it. And then about eight years ago, I decided, I'm, I went back to Canada, and I decided to start over, and I embedded myself with the new generation and said, hey, I'm going to become a stand-up. Yeah. And it took me about seven or eight years. I didn't go, hey, like, <laughs> hey! That's a good open. Hey, that works. Hey! <laughs> hey guys. I, I can just see Donald Trump That's imitating me. <laughs> hey! Remember when that guy went, hey! <laughs> You can have us in his character. Hey. He's just talking. He's funny. He's just funny talking. <laughs> so how do you how do you like deal? With, do you get how do you deal with hecklers? Does anybody ever heckle you, or are they just are they just friendly? How, what do you do? I you know I I don't know. Tell them to shut up. Shut up. <laughs> hey you, shut up. I mean they don't really. The worst is like a drunk group of like bachelorettes. <laughs> the bachelorette party. <laughs> the worst. Every comedian is. Terrified <laughs> when they see like a bachelorette party come in, they're like, "Oh man!" Because you can't stop them. You can't stop them. Like, hey, you're you're talking about this. <laughs> yeah. This is like talking about my mom. Yeah. <laughs> the drunk girl. They're the worst. You're funny. Yeah, and you can't like move you're them. Not no. Even funny. Yeah. Yeah. You're not funny. You're not funny. Yeah. I'm funny. <laughs> let me get up, let me get up on stage. Yeah. It's the weirdest thing. So you got uh, tonight and tomorrow. Tonight and tomorrow. Two punchline. shows tonight and two shows tomorrow. Is uh, does Buddy make an appearance? Buddy Cole? He might. Cole? You know, here's the thing. I mean, I'm doing stand up and and I, what you were saying about to become a stand up, I felt I had to kill my characters. Oh. And that's sad. Yeah. But then I, I didn't really kill them. I just put them under okay. for a while. Okay. And uh, but lately they've been 
they want back. Buddy Cole is, a, Buddy's, is a fan favorite. Buddy, Buddy's oh back. Gosh. You know, they wear certain... that crazy softball uniform that you that one episode that you created the amazing yeah. softball uniform. Do no, Buddy's back. That? I'm doing a big show. Uh, no, that's in a museum in Canada. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that was such an amazing costume. <laughs> yeah. Showbiz museum. And uh, but no, I'm uh, I'm doing a big show for Buddy in a month um, in L. A. And I'm putting all t I'm doing a whole evening of him because I really think cool. it's his time. Yeah. Like there's certain things that I can't. That I can't even say. But Buddy can. But Buddy can. He can say anything. <laughs> There's certain things in my act where I go, eh, people get really uncomfortable. But I gave it to him. And they're and fine with it. it. It just, people don't get, they just go, he can say anything. And then I go, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be a stand <laughs> Scott Thompson is in town for a couple of days tonight and tomorrow. There Punchline Comedy Club. And yeah. he'll, be, he'll, be doing that. he'll be doing hey. all your favorites, Thank including you. hey. Oh, great to God. have you here. It's great to have you here. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Feel better, too. Uh, thanks a lot. Hey, they have a number of national awards.